Hello and welcome back to Top10List.org where you get a world of knowledge in 10 simple points. On today's episode, we're going to talk about top 10 awkward situations and how to diffuse them. Oh man, this is going to be great. Let's start at number 10 with uh, who are you playing with in there? The only thing more embarrassing than your wife catching you relief stress by yourself during that special time of the month is when she's also accompanied by her mother. Unless you plan to shut the door and live in the bathroom for the rest of your life, the line, Hey, do you think this uh, resembles um, a cancerous lump? Uh, do I have cancer? That's pretty much your last line of defense. And no, asking them to join you will not yield the same results in real life. Number nine, it's getting drafty in here. Oh, wait. You just lost your swimming shorts or your member just popped out of the little pee pee slit in the front. And uh, in the icy waters of the pool and not having much to show for it due to the shrinkage effect of the cold can be pretty embarrassing. To preserve the illusion of manhood, use both hands to cover your privates and make a run for it to the nearest towel rack. Don't worry, there's no way it could get any worse than that. Eight, she's right behind me, agency. Just as you're telling your wife that you don't want to meet that awful hell spawn of a woman that is your mother-in-law, you realize that she's sitting on the couch right next to you. Don't pull out your pen to sign the divorce papers just yet. Pretend that you were actually describing a terribly cheesy movie that made you leave the theater earlier. Then, in your most charming, nonchalant voice, ask your wife why her sister decided to visit. It's essentially a reverse version of number three. Number seven, pimple your ride to disaster. A large pimple on your face is just a thing to get before an important public speech, particularly if you are planning to advertise cosmetic products. As you sit before the crowd who is still trying to understand if you're joking or not, there are two roads you can take, although both imply lying. The higher road is to announce them that the pimple is fake and it's all part of a marketing strategy. Be prepared for follow-up questions as you leave the web of lies. The low road means you're telling your audience that it's not just a pimple, but a symptom of a serious condition making them feel bad for staring. Number six, the story of the squeaky chairs in your first date. Cutting the cheese just as you're about to order an expensive product of French cuisine and wine to match is a surefire way to set your budget back a couple hundred dollars for nothing. However, your acting skills can get you out of it safely if you instantly complain to the waiter about the chair, which allegedly caused this noise once before. You of course could also blame the waiter for it in the event of the concept of morals doesn't mean anything to you and you don't have a problem with an innocent man getting fired. Number 5. An ally in your wife? Joking with your buddies about hair loss, erectile dysfunctions, and similarly embarrassing things can sometimes be great and fun. But when your wife laughs at the jokes made at your expense, especially those that are aimed at your performance in the sack, it's no longer funny. Why? Because what used to be a joke between two friends receives a confirmation from the only person who has any experience in that field, and that's a low blow to the ego. In this case, it's not funny because <laughs> that's true. Answering a joke about divorce lawyers is probably the only sensible thing to do in this case other than getting naked and diving through the nearest window. Number four, that damned sink did it to me again. Rowan Atkinson is the one who popularized the situation in one of his Mr. Bean movies. Essentially, the water pressure in the sink of the public bathroom is so high that it splashes all over your pants, making it look like you just had a little accident day. Don't try explaining it to your friends. The accident version makes a much better story every time. If you don't want to spend the rest of your evening in the stall waiting for the pants to dry or attempt to pull a Mr. Bean by using the blower of the hand dryer making it look like you're humping it, just splash more water on your shirt and walk out with dignity. Number three, the mother-wife illusion. Every married man will at some point have to diffuse a situation in which his wife is mistaken for his mother. However flat and flattering it may be for your ego to accept the compliment for your boyish good looks, be prepared to sign the divorce papers if you don't act quickly to clear the confusion. In the event that you have a good acting skills, you can also boost your chances for romance that night by pretending to take offense at the idea that someone could mistake your beautiful young wife for your mother. On the other hand, don't try this scenario out if you feel you might burst with laughter throughout your speech. Number two, when is your abdominal fat due? Poor lighting conditions. An abnormal body silhouette and your irritating habit of making small talk with strangers in the elevator are main ingredients of this blunder. You ask the nice lady with an excessive abdominal fat when the baby is due. Well, if you don't want to spend the entire trip to your floor cowering in a corner and fending off deadly purse strikes, you could try taking out your phone and pretending that you are having a conversation with someone else via the Bluetooth headset. Of course, that might work if you are on one knee touching your belly, in which case you would have to make a friendly reminder to stop being creepy with strangers. And last but not least on the list, you woke up the morning after, but you're unsure of your one night stand species. <laughs> what a wonderful night it was. You got to drink yourself silly, hang out with your friends, dance with all the ladies, and went home with the most beautiful one of them. 
Then the painful reality steps in when you roll over and see your catch without the beer goggles. Don't panic. They could smell fear. You might have the chance to make a run for it, providing she's not sleeping on your arm, in which case you're pretty much doomed to put on your best fake grin and wait till she's in the bathroom. Oh, it's even worse if this is your place. Make a mental reminder to stop drinking so much and pray that the whole thing was just not caught on tape. And maybe have an actual relationship so you don't need these one-nighters anymore. That helps too. Thank you for joining us on this edition of Top 10 for awkward situations and how to defuse them. If you enjoyed the tips in this video, click subscribe and don't hesitate to join us again for another edition of Top 10 List.